Alrighty guys, welcome back. So today guys, currently back out here at the house today. Uh, this morning I went ahead and got out the first gen dually here and I already have the uh, 40 foot gooseneck trailer parked on the uh, over here on the other side of the barn over there. I uh, figured today would be a good day to go ahead and purchase a new truck. So we're going to go ahead and hook up the first gen to the 40 foot gooseneck trailer over there and go pick it up. It's actually just it's pretty convenient. It's only about uh, 15 minutes out. It's just uh, up there in town a little ways. And so I figured we'd go ahead and just at least drive up there, take a look at it, test drive it. It's it's a really cool truck, guys. It's a super old C10. And um, the owner, I actually know a little bit. I've heard a little bit about him. I've seen him around and stuff like that. Um, I saw that and I've seen him in that truck before, and I've actually really liked that truck. But I saw he listed it on Marketplace for actually what I'd consider pretty cheap. So I figured we'd go ahead and at least take a look at it today and uh, maybe make a new purchase today as well. So uh, we're going to go ahead and hop into the first gen here, go get uh, go get it all hooked up to the 40-foot um, gooseneck trailer here. And then we're going to peel out and go up into town and try to uh, see if we can get this thing purchased here so I figured that'd be a pretty good video to take you guys along with today uh, so yeah I hope you guys enjoy this C10 I mean it's it's something it's pretty unique I'm, I actually like it a lot and uh, I really hope we can we can get this purchase finalized today so I'm gonna go ahead and, and it's been a little bit muddy the past few days it's kind of a little bit damp out right now it has been raining the past few days it was kind of drying out with the with the sun since it's been coming out and drying up a little bit but still a little bit damp out bad guys we're just heading down the driveway now and gonna head up on it uh into town here and i hope we can make this purchase it should be a good one definitely looking forward to it and uh yep so i'll catch you guys once i get into town and this truck, I'm not too sure what's under the hood. I'm not sure if it's a diesel or not. I actually, it might be a diesel, honestly. So we're going to go ahead and figure that out. I've just seen the truck driving around town before. I, I've talked to the guy a couple different times up at a, uh, the restaurant up here in town one time. and So I kind of know the guy a little bit. Uh, he just lives over here a little ways. So I'm really not that far into town. So I guess I'll just continue Taking you guys along with me for the ride here. Let's go ahead and take this wide turn. And, uh, I think it's one of these houses around here somewhere. So let's just continue on. Oh, they got to get that bump fixed. Honestly, it's kind of kind of throws you off a little bit. All right, guys. Here's the uh, here's the C10. Here she is. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull up about right here a little bit. Hope no one minds. I don't think I'm. Taking up the road too much. Ah, that should be fine. Then go around. All right, let's go ahead and take a take a quick look at this this beauty here, the C10. Yeah, guys. Ah, uh, man, love this truck. Once I saw it around town, and, and let's go ahead and take a look what what's under the hood here. I just need to know. All right, there's compound turbos on this built 12 valve. That is insane. He's running the dual light bars. He's got 5% tint all around. Sitting on about a 10 inch lift kit, it looks like, and Oh man, he's got the he's got the side exit right here. He's got the cutout exhaust pipes coming out. Um, yeah, that's definitely a 12 valve. And well, I've never seen coal come out of these little side pipes here. It'll definitely look cool if if this thing does roll coal. I'm sure it does. If it's, I mean, look at this thing. It's compound turbos on a built 12 valve. I think it's pretty insane. Oh man, I love the setup too. He's running like 42 inch. Maybe 41s, uh, super swampers, and I really like the the wheels here. He didn't go like really crazy with big, wide wheels and tires, but man, it still is a mean look. And and really, I'm a pretty big fan of this look. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, so yeah, I hope it does roll coal. It's got a nice toolbox in the back. Really nice truck overall. I can't even see into the bed. This thing is so tall. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and talk to the guy here and. Try to figure out a price, but I do have some cash in the truck uh, if we do get something figured out. But either way, I'd like to take it for a test drive and get a feel for it, show you guys the trucks, and I just gave you guys a little bit of a walk around of it. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. So, 
yeah guys if you guys saw this driving around town then you're looking on marketplace late at night and then all of a sudden you see this pop up and for the price that i saw it at i knew i had to go ahead and get the gooseneck trailer hooked up and come take a take a look at it so yep i'm just gonna go ahead and talk to the guy and catch you guys uh once i can take it for a test drive all right guys I actually just had a really good long talk with the guy and uh yeah he really just wants it sold he's on to something new he got raised at his job and he just needs a little bit more side money before he can go ahead and invest and uh he's trying to look into a 2000 ford excursion to build i mean it's gonna be a little bit different from a c10 an old body c10 here and uh with built 12 of in it but he has pretty big plans for 2000 ford excursion seems like a pretty cool guy i've been trying to look to get my hands on one of those um 12 valve swap it and stuff like that but yeah so uh I guess in a year or two, I'll be looking forward to, or even sooner, I'll be looking forward to seeing a Ford Excursion uh, for sale by this guy, or at least driving around town. Um, yeah, I'm curious to see what he'll do to uh, the Ford Excursion he's um, saving up for, and uh, to do the 12 valve swap on, and the lift wheels and tires, and just a whole build on it. So yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to that, so I'll keep in touch with this guy, and keep you guys updated with that. But yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and hop on in here and take it for a test drive. Alrighty guys, here we are. Gosh, this thing is tall. I can see all the way into his garage here. That's uh yeah, this thing is crazy tall. I had to go ahead and move my move my truck back so I can pull out a little bit easier. Alright, it's fired up. This thing is definitely a 12 valve. Should we see if it rolls any coal? Here we go. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a test rev here. Oh yeah, she rolls coal. Look at that. She sounds awesome too. Gosh, this thing is cool. Hang on, I don't want to rev it up too much, but let's just Give her a little test run there. Oh, man, this thing is nice. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pull on out here. Got to go wide. And, oh, we squealed the tires a little bit back there. All right. Gosh, this thing is jumpy. Look at that. It is a custom four-link, but, yeah, this thing's got some soft suspension on it. Look at that thing just by hitting the gas. Oh, yeah, this thing's torquey. Sure is torquey. And it does, I mean, it turns pretty well. Oh, my gosh, this thing is rowdy. All right, hang on. Let's just go ahead and test the brakes. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, the brakes are a little too good on this thing. Kind of sent us flying. All right, that would be the way back up to the house. So we are going to not go that way, but we are going to fly through town a little bit here. Get up to speed, 60, 70. All right, we were sitting at a solid 83 there for a second. This thing does slide a little bit. Alright, we're going to try to slide this corner. I don't know. Oh yeah, we slid it just fine. Look at that. Alright, this thing's got potential. Sure has got... Sure does have potential. Alright, let's go ahead and slide over here. Keep her coming. Oh, there we go. Yeah, this thing's one heck of a test drive because this thing is fun to drive. Also, it slides really well. I can't believe this thing squeals and can spin 42-inch Super Swampers. That thing is crazy. Man, and it slides really well, uh, too. We're only in rear-wheel drive, though. But, hey, I, I still like it. Uh, normally, I drift most of my built trucks uh, in four-wheel drive just because they, they just go right off the road if you if you start sliding and you're not in four-wheel drive to, to correct it. So... Oh, let's just throw it in four-wheel drive, make sure it works. Let's try launch here with four-wheel drive. Oh, yeah, all right. And it steers way better. Okay. I don't want to burn up the transmission here. Oh, wow. All right, the drifts are way more rowdy with this thing in four-wheel drive. So I might want to lay off the gas just a little bit. But, no, I don't, I don't, I don't do that. I'm not known for that. I'm Dragster TV. we got to keep this thing going fast. But, all right, I'm just going to go ahead and fly back up to the house here. Just do one more little slide. Oh, that was actually a pretty good one here. Go down, shift, shift back up. All right, I'm going to take this back up to the trailer, back up to the guy's house, and then I'm going to give him money for it. Give him out eight grand cash for this thing, and then uh, once I give him eight grand for it, I know it's it's dirt cheap, but yeah, once I give him eight grand cash for it, then uh, 
I'm going to load it on up and bring back up to the house. So I'll catch you guys at that. Alrighty guys, we are now currently driving away in the first gen Dodge here. Just got to get the trailer out of the grass. Hmm. Alright, hang on now. Let's go ahead and reverse real quick. Get it up on. Oh, I'll go straighter a little bit. There we go. Alright, now the trailer's back on the road. And now guys, we are currently driving away with the C10 on the trailer. Would you look at that? What a beautiful sight to see. Alright, we gotta continue on down the road though, because we got we just gotta run back up to the house, drop it off, and call it a day, guys. But we're on our way back, so thanks for watching everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did, subscribe if you're new and you haven't and you haven't already. Also, guys, make sure to uh, hit that little notification bell because uh, more content will be coming out with this truck very soon. Also, leave a like and uh, a comment as well about any other videos you guys like to see from me here on the channel. And, yeah, so looking forward to seeing what you guys say down there in the comments and what other video ideas you guys like to see from me. So, guys, once again, thanks for watching. And with that one, catch you guys very, very soon in the next one.